Riskgate is an online body of knowledge built using coal industry expertise. Thousands of hours of mining professionals input collected during a series of guided workshops. It's designed to help you understand and control selected major incidents and connects you to information about event-specific controls. It will help you find gaps in your own controls based on systematic consideration of incidents, including their causes and consequences. You can print practical bowtie-based information as checklists that can be used within your current mine activities and systems. Riskgate is an easy-to-use, interactive tool, providing information about 15 high-consequence risk areas across coal mining operations. Fires, strata control for underground mining, ground control for open-cut mining, tyres, isolation, collisions, explosions and explosives, manual tasks, trip slips and falls, chemicals, occupational health, inrush and outburst, and interfaces. You can use Riskgate to conduct or develop risk assessments, audits, incident investigations, and management systems. The tool is designed to help you challenge your thinking about priority incidents and to drive a careful review process to identify potential controls. The coal mining industry is making a step change in risk management by focusing on control effectiveness using bow tie methods. This step change will take several years to be fully implemented across the industry and Riskgate is an integral part of this process. Riskgate has been developed to address two very important industry issues. The first is to more carefully consider the existence and effectiveness of controls for major incidents. Current common industry practice such as using RAC, TBRA or similar multi-column risk assessment methods does not usually provide adequate opportunity to consider the controls of potential high-risk events. It is also common for sites to use a risk matrix, the 5x5, to rank and then re-rank risk based on limited control information. The practice of using limited control information to re-rank risk from a red to a green may not provide a reliable image of tolerable risk. The practice itself could be a significant risk. The second important issue Riskgate addresses is the need to recognise that every site is different. In other words, that defining a specific control or set of controls for all sites may be incorrect. Each mine site has unique characteristics that require consideration when managing risk and there is no one-size-fits-all solution. So Riskgate addresses both the need for better consideration of controls and the need to uniquely consider each site. Riskgate uses a method called bowtie analysis, which identifies event-specific controls and considers the range of causes and consequences for selected priority incidents. Bowtie analysis is currently used by many mine sites around the world. When a potential incident has been identified, such as an underground fire or a high wall collapse, bowtie analysis is used to identify controls that could prevent the incident, as well as controls that could reduce the consequences of the event. In Riskgate, this method is used to identify all potential causes and consequences and thereby present a full image of potential controls. As such, it provides a way for you to walk through the relevant events, identify relevant causes and consequences, and then consider the status of existing controls against those outlined in Riskgate. In essence, taking a site-specific approach to identifying the right controls for your site. Let's take a closer look at how bow ties are structured. Think of a real bow tie a person might wear, with a knot and two folds on each side. The knot or centre of the bow tie analysis describes a single initiating event. Typically, this is the instance that energy is released and the incident begins to occur. On the left side of the bow tie, there's a list of various causes that might lead to the initiating event. On the right side of the bow tie are the consequences that stem from the initiating event. You've probably heard of the simple model of cause and consequence, but in bow tie analysis, we need to consider a different model. Cause, event and consequence. 
Between each cause and its initiating event are the various preventive controls that can be implemented to reduce the likelihood that the initiating event will happen. On the other side of the bow tie, between the event and each consequence, are the various mitigating controls that can either prevent or reduce the severity of the consequence. So each bow tie consists of a single initiating event in the center, a list of possible causes on the left, each with its own specific preventive controls, and stemming from the initiating event on the right side is a list of possible consequences, each with its own specific mitigating controls. Using bow ties requires a bit of a shift in thinking when considering other common mining risk management tools. When using bow ties, it's important to recognise that a cause can potentially lead to any of the consequences and that bow tie modelling doesn't form a direct relationship between individual causes and individual consequences. The relationship between causes and consequences is managed through the central knot or initiating event. So the thinking is not cause and effect or cause and consequence, it's cause and event, then event and consequence. We believe that this logical approach to considering relevant priority unwanted events will provide you with a more accurate view of risk. Let's consider an example using RiskGate. A risk manager is reviewing controls around hydraulic fluid catching fire on a dump truck. In RiskGate, we would start in the fire's topic area. Each topic area lists the relevant initiating events. Clicking on the plus icon next to each event will open an accordion with more details about the event. In our example, we would choose fire on mobile plant and field equipment and click to open the bow tie for this event. The information for this event is then displayed as a bow tie analysis with the event in the middle, causes on the left and consequences on the right. In this event, the causes are classified into particular groups. We're looking for fires where the fuel type is hydraulic fluid. There are three causes listed here. Let's say we are interested in controls around spillage or overfilling of the hydraulic fluid. The second cause is the one we want. Clicking on the cause will then populate the list of preventive controls. These controls are to prevent or contain the event should the cause be triggered. At this point, we can review the various controls that present on the screen. Clicking on the expansion icon will display a list of actions required for each control. On the other side of the bow tie analysis, clicking on a consequence will show a list of mitigating controls designed to prevent or control the consequences should the event occur. This page is primarily a quick way of looking at the data by presenting it in a bow tie structure. A checklist of the bow tie can also be generated by clicking on the checklist button. The RiskGate checklists use the initiating event as the title. Then, preventive controls are listed under each cause. Mitigating controls are listed under each consequence. The checklists are presented this way to help you quickly access the relevant control information surrounding the specific priority unwanted event you want to prevent or mitigate. As such, RiskGate checklists are ideal for use in incident investigations, risk assessments and audits, and as training tools. Many RiskGate topics should be available to ACARP member companies in late 2012. Other topics will also be developed subsequent to that date. RiskGate will help you address two important needs. To more carefully consider the existence and effectiveness of controls for major incidents and to recognise that every site is different, requiring a specific approach to considering adequacy of controls. RiskGate can supplement and possibly replace some of your current risk reduction activities. It's an effective and efficient cross-industry mechanism for a step change to proactive thinking and risk analysis. RiskGate is a major project funded through ACARP, the Australian Coal Association Research Program, supported by many of the world's leading coal mining companies. If you're interested in more information about RiskGate, the resource is being developed by the University of Queensland's Minerals Industry Safety and Health Centre.